Hey, everyone! Welcome back to the channel. In the last video, we covered how to use Platform IO for Arduino. Now, in this video, we will explore how to debug Arduino Uno in Visual Studio Code using Platform IO. Let's get started. When it comes to debugging a controller, we typically rely on specific debugging tools. However, in this tutorial, we'll take a different approach. We won't be using any of those tools. Instead, we'll harness the power of the serial interface for debugging. And let me tell you, this approach is truly awesome. Now, let's delve into the debugging part. Go to the Platform IO homepage and navigate to the library section. Search for the debugger in the search bar and select the AVR Debugger Library by Jan Dolanay. Click on Add to Project, choose the project in which you want to add it, and then click on Add. When you add the library from here to any project, the platformio.ini configuration gets updated. Now, go to the library again, where you will find an example of how to use it. In this example, it demonstrates how the debugger library is used. We need to include this header file in our project when we will be debugging. Just like this. We will have to call the debug underscore init function in the setup function to initialize the debugging functionality. You don't require this breakpoint function. You can add the breakpoint here like this. Now, update the platformio.ini configuration file with debug configurations. Specify the debug tool as AVR stub and specify the debug COM port. If your COM port is greater than 9, then you have to add these special characters before the COM port. If COM port number is less than or equal to 9 then, special characters are not required. I have added this variable and incremented in the loop function so that while debugging, I can see the value of that variable. Now, go to run and click on start debugging. You can also use the shortcut key F5 to start debugging. Debugging is a crucial aspect of software development and Platform IO simplifies it for Arduino projects. By adding the AVR debugger library and configuring the debug settings, you can step through your code, inspect variables, and diagnose issues with ease. As you can see, debugging launches successfully and control stops at the breakpoint that we've added. Now, let's proceed to execute the code. You can add multiple breakpoints like this, but generally, it's advisable to add breakpoints to the variables you want to monitor. If you'd like to observe the value of a specific variable, you can utilize the watch window on the left side, where you can add the variable you want to monitor. As you can see, the variable value updates every time the breakpoint is hit. Additionally, there's a call stack window below, which displays the function call stack. At the top of the window, you'll find various options such as run, stop, step over, step in, and step out. So, that wraps up today's tutorial. Thank you for watching. Please consider liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel for more informative videos.